Welcome to our video tutorial on systems of equations in Algebra 1 review. Back in Algebra 1 there were three ways we solved the system of equations. The first was by graphing. When we want to solve a system of equations by graphing, we need to get each equation in slope-intercept form. That's this y equals mx plus b form, where the m is the slope and the b is our y-intercept. In this problem, notice that the second equation is already in slope-intercept form. So we just have to modify the first equation. We start with 3x plus 4y equals 8. And the first thing we need to do is get that 3x off the left-hand side. So we subtract 3x from both sides. We end up with 4y is equal to a negative 3x plus 8. And then we go through and divide both sides by 4. But that's in the entirety of both sides is divided by 4. After we do that, we get y is equal to a negative 3 fourths x plus 2. So now we have two equations with which we're working. y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2 and y equals 2x minus 9. Actually, let me make that stand out a little bit. There's our vertical axis. Oh, let's see, I'm going to put the horizontal axis about here because I know that we have a minus 9 that we have to work with. Please label our axes. So this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis, and now let's start with our equation in blue. So the y-intercept is negative 9, which means we start down 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow, look at that, I plotted that pretty well. And then the slope is 2, which means we go up 2, right 1. Up 2, right 1. Up 2, right 1. Up 2, right 1. Effectively on the screen. So I'm going to color that line in blue. And that's our first of the two lines. Our other line is y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. So we start up 2 because of the plus 2. Then we go down 3 and right 4. Down 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, look at that. Right there we get our intersection point. Draw our line in. And what I would also want to see on a quiz or a test or anything of that sort, please put arrows on the ends of your lines to indicate that they are lines and they will be continuing in those directions. The solution to our system of equations then is that ordered pair. Here the x value is 4 and the y value is negative 1. However, I want our final answer to be written in this form. The value of x and the value of y. So in this problem, x is 4 and y equals negative 1. That's a brief overview of graphing. The second method we learned in Algebra 1 was substitution. In this case, you need to figure out one of the letters in one of those two equations that we want to get by itself. I would argue in this problem that the 2x is the easiest thing to get by itself. So we're going to take the bottom equation first and we're going to get the x by itself. First, we will add the 3y to both sides. Then, we have to divide both sides by 2. Make sure to divide everything in the equation by 2, and we get x equals 3 halves y plus 8. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take that and substitute it into the first equation wherever we see the x. So here we go. We have 3x plus 5y equals 5. I'm going to take that expression and replace the x with 3 halves y plus 8. Notice that's what I did got rid of the x and put in the 3 halves y plus 8. I have to continue the rest of the equation though. 
So plus y, 5y equals 5. Then we have to distribute our 3. Remember, when we have those parentheses, take care of those parentheses. And please write everything as improper simplified fractions. So remember, this is kind of like 3 over 1. So 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 1 is 2. At this point, I don't like that 9 halves there. Now, you could do other things, but I'm just going to multiply both sides of this equation by 2 to clear out that fraction. We'll get 9y, be careful, we have to distribute the 2, plus 48, plus 10y equals 10. Combine our like terms, 9y plus 10y is 19y. Subtract the 48 from both sides. And then we go through and divide by 2. And we've got our value of y. But we're not quite done because we need to figure out the value of x. The easiest way to do that is to simply plug in our value that we just found into that equation that we formed initially. So here, when I plug in negative 2 for y, we'll be right on the path of solving for x. So x is going to be a negative 3 plus 8, or x is just simply equal to 5. For the final answers, please make sure that it's clearly indicated what the value of x is and what the value of y is. And keep in mind, you can always double check by plugging in to our equation. So 15 minus 10 is 5. And 10, be careful here, plus 6 would be 16. Now there was one more approach that we learned in Algebra 1. And we're going to do this on the same problem. It's called elimination. First thing that you do is either pick the x or the y to eliminate. It really doesn't matter which one. Sometimes one of them is nicer than the other. But let's just say we want to eliminate the x. I'm going to multiply each equation by a number that will cause those x's to cancel. So if we multiply the top equation, not by 3, so if we multiply the top equation by 2 and the bottom equation by 3, those will both be 6's. But I want them to cancel. So one of them will have to be negative. Now multiply everything in that top equation by negative 2. Don't forget to multiply that right-hand side as well. Same thing in the bottom equation. Multiply everything this time by 3, including 3 times 16 is 48. Then we add our equations. Negative 6x plus 6x, they cancel. It's eliminated. Negative 10y minus 9y will be a negative 19y. And negative 10 plus 48 is 38. Divide both sides by 2 and we get y equals negative 2. Then you have to pick one of the two equations to plug back in. I'm going to plug into the top one, and we're going to solve for x. So 3x plus 5 times a negative 2 is equal to 5. That means 3x minus 10 is 5. Add that 10 to both sides. Divide both sides by 3, and we get that x is equal to 5. Notice this was the same problem we just did a couple minutes ago by substitution, and notice we've got the same answers. With substitution, we ended up with x equals 5 and y equals negative 2, as we did with elimination. This is an overview of systems of equations from Algebra 1, and hopefully you're right back on track.